Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Solasta with me, Bring It Dawn. Uh, let's blow this popsicle stand, but hopefully be able to return so I can grab that sweet loot. Oh no, I didn't see the location on the map. Uh, Dungeons of Manicolin. Kythala stopped again and asked to enter what seems to be an old imperial prison. Okay, before I do anything, let's make sure we're ready for anything. I'm in your debt, my friend. All right, let's see what lies ahead. I see some torches that aren't lit up ahead, so let's take care of that. This is the place. I have a bad feeling about this. Where am I? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I must find the master. Are you okay? Yes. We just want to help. She's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. This is the place. Where am I? <laughs> All right, so she's probably a little off her rocker. Humans don't look that bad. Hmm, they smell a bit, though. All right, I need to succeed on the first try. So I don't know if we can backtrack to this location. So please don't fail. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Prime Scimitar. I'll have him hold that. This is an ingredient. Give that to... Actually, was that just an emerald or was that something special? Just an emerald. Okay. Oh, a magnificent short sword. I'll have her hold on to that because I would like to replace her current dagger so she can hit a little harder. Yep, short sword plus one. That is a straight upgrade for her. And I'll give Feindal the dagger to replace his quarterstaff. Alright, so wait, what is this? Is there nothing else here? Why do we stop here? Why does it say this door is locked? Not be opened. So can we leave? If this can't be opened, that was weird. I mean, at least we got some decent loot out of it. I'm gonna interrupt this. So, oh no, this is where we were, right? Or the no, the oracle is where we were. So we can't return to this location. Okay. It's weird that it's not on this path here. Okay, whatever. But at least we can return to it. And get that loot. An unexpected encounter. You came across a caravan. Rare thing in these desolate lands. I was super concerned I wasn't going to be able to go back and get that locked chest, but we can. It is a marked place on the map. Whew. Stay still, my beating heart. I think that's the phrase. So what's the reason for knocking that down? Really? Fandal can't get up there with his spider climb? <coughs> well, that is interesting. Okay. Well, the caravan is up ahead. What's this way? A dead end. Traveling merchant. I would like to go up here. There it is. It's not locked, so even better. Alright, Feindal, go take care of this for me, or not. Can you really not just go over here? Come 
Whoa. Guess I'll do it this way then. <laughs> I don't think there's a reason to go over here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh. Oh, okay. See, I've tried to target these things in the past with cantrips, but it didn't work. But now it does. That's a little frustrating. Alright, let's talk to the merchant. <laughs> what is this? Galar Golden Tongue. No time to chat, sorry. What sort of traveling merchant are you? Turn down clientele like that. I'm busy. Go see Galar. Alright, so no one's gonna talk to us so we speak to Galar Golden Tongue. So that's exactly what we'll do. Oh wait, what? Ari immediately under attack. Well, let's get to use Stinking Cloud. I didn't use any of my buffs here either. This guy all Why are their eyes glowing like that? You have them now. Should open up with this. There is a long rest spot right here. So there's no reason not to just go ahead and burn through all my spells and try to take these guys out as fast as possible. So they're fighters. Se uh, fighters get the second wind ability. I think at level one. Not bad, eh? Nope, not bad at all, buddy. Just keep it up. Because consistency is the key to success, or a key to success. Oh, whoops. <laughs> he has the wrong weapon equipped. Yeah! Oh! Truly oh. formidable. Ow. Okay, not a fan of that. Is it really out of range? Okay. Uh, come up here. Up here? Wait, Dark Weaver. I really just can't see him at all from over here. Okay, I'm gonna have her get behind cover. And... Attack this guy. Just burn through some crossbow bolts. Need to clear out his inventory anyway.
Ha! Can he dodge? He must be a rogue. Or some sort of rogue subclass. Come on! <laughs> She's not very good at this. <laughs> Finally. That's not good, he can die. Hmm. I can also heal. Alright. You're still in the fight, my friend. Should have kept the shield equipped. Don't know why I swapped to the uh, the great sword. I can't get to him this turn. Well struck. Well, hopefully, he just focuses on my cleric. It doesn't go after Golden Tongue again. But in case he does, let's see if we get entangled, just to be safe. Well done. Ah. Some pretty uh, beefy enemies. I was not expecting this to be that hard of a fight. Wasn't even expecting a fight here, honestly. I'll get you yet. All right, cut him down. Well, that was that was okay damage, I guess. Let's do divine favor. Try and cut him down next turn. Get a little bit of extra damage in on him. Well struck. There we go. He's done for next turn, so I don't need to use entangle this turn. Don't need this many magic missiles, but why not? No need to risk it either. I wish I knew how much health this guy had, because it seems an absurd amount of so. <laughs> I'm just going to keep her over here. She doesn't need to get involved any more than she has been. And Good kill. Finally. A timely arrival. Many thanks for your help. Clear skies, friend. What's going on here? Those fellows joined my caravan at Copperan. A couple of hours ago, this man stumbled on our path, almost dead. No healing could help him, so I put him in a tent. And I was about to send word to Copperan. Copperan? That's where we're going. Then perhaps you could do me a favor. A favor? Of course I'll see that you're rewarded. Almost dead? Sick? No, wounded. Deep wounds, ripped open, as if by sharp claws. We found him near the road. It looked like he had crawled there. Claw wounds? And no healing could help him? That's right. The wounds were oozing. It's a wonder he was still alive. Why send word? Because this man was a corporal on the Copperan Watch. You want us to take word of his death to Copperan? Yes. Take this note and his personal effects to Sergeant Nikonen. Have him countersign the note, then see my agent. He is the owner of the general's store. Meanwhile, get some rest and share our camp. We can even sell you some equipment. Many thanks for your hospitality.
All right, so we'll peruse their wares, see if they have anything unique that I can buy here and nowhere else. Oh, we leveled up too. Even better. No time to chat, sorry. Okay, or not. <laughs> I'm busy. Go see Galar. You want to buy something? Ask Galar. We're packing. Sorry. All right, well, let's see what he has for sale. Then we'll rest, level up, and continue to copper in. All right, nothing that really stands out yet. Component bracers, that's a really cool concept. Alright, so he doesn't have anything to write home about. I will just rest. I guess we can sell some stuff while I'm here as well. Uh, what do we have? And, um, hmm. I guess that's it. Well, I guess the backpack, we don't need that. Oh, did I not actually confirm my selling? No, I did not. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell that. Actually, he finished that. I can craft something else, can't I? I also need to sell that backpack. Nope, he's not available for crafting, neither is he. Shoot. Alright, let's sell that backpack and then we will rest. Where's it at? Oh, I don't get anything. Okay, well, shoot. So we're hitting level seven. I think that's when we get our second, like, subclass features, if I'm not mistaken. 11 hit points, one additional hit die, uh, one more spell slot, one more first level spell slot. No, second level spell slot. R of Devotion. Friendly creatures in the R cannot be charmed while you are caught conscious. Conscious, not conscience. <laughs> 7 hit points, 1 additional hit die, uh, 1 additional 2nd level spell slot, and defensive tactics, choose one of the following options, escape the horde, multi-attack defense, or steel will. So escape the horde, opportunity attacks against you are made with disadvantage, multi-attack defense, when a creature hits you with an attack, you gain a plus 4 bonus to armor class against all subsequent attacks made by that creature for the rest of the turn, and then steel will, advantage of saving throws against being frightened. I'm going to grab this. Now the enemies are attacking multiple times per turn. As we saw there, that fighter attacked, I think, three times? Or was it twice? I think it was twice in an opportunity attack. And then here, I will grab... I think Fog Cloud would be really good for her. I think maybe not. Maybe Silence would be better. I'm going to grab Silence. Not hit points, one additional hit die, and one fourth level spell slot. Phantasmal Killer. Uh, stone Skin, that's really good. Now, will this require a diamond? Yep. Does require a diamond. Freedom of Movement, Death Ward, and Banishment. I'll keep what I have for right now. Actually, hold on, did it give me... How long does this last for? Eight hours? We're going to grab this. I 
All right, six hit points, one additional hit die, and one fourth level spell slot with two level or two spells to select. It's really exciting. All right, a wall of fire, stone skin, phantasmal killer, giant insect conjures a giant version of a natural insect or arthropod. So phantasmal killer causes psychic damage to the target creature with each turn unless the saving throw is successful or the effect ends. Stone skin uh, grants resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. Wall of fire creates a burning wall that injures creatures in or next to it. Identified creatures reveals all bestiary or full bestiary knowledge for the affected creatures. Ice storm causes bludgeoning and cold damage in the area and turns the ground into difficult terrain. Great invisibility, target becomes invisible for the duration, even when attacking or casting spells. Conjure uh, minor elementals, conjure elemental creatures under your command, which are dismissed when the spell ends or is broken. Dimension door transfers the caster and a friendly creature to the to a specified destination. Fire shield grants resistance to fire. All right, so we have the scroll for this, and we have the scroll for black tentacles up here. Free movement, straightforward confusion creates confusion and erratic behavior in a creature, possibly leading it to attack its allies. Blight drains life from a creature, causing massive necrotic damage, and banishment. Banish is a creature as long as you concentrate, the creature can be permanently banished if it is extra planar. Um, I wouldn't mind summoning. That sounds pretty cool. Let's get a couple summons. And then we're actually going to swap out Featherfall for Knock. And probably Hypnotic Pattern for one of these summons. We'll, we'll do this. That sounds like fun. Alright, I guess we can leave. Nothing else for us to do here. Can we leave this way? We sure can. Welcome to Copperin. As soon as I can leave and backtrack to the Oracle, I am going to. Another long rest spot. Which we don't need. entrance to our fair valley? Yes, we do. Then go see Sergeant Nikonin in the guardhouse. Thank you. Clear skies. Stay in the light. Good day. I'm Sergeant Nikonin, officer of the day. What business brings you to Copperan? Well, Sarge, we found something of yours on our way here. Of mine? What exactly? Here they are, Sarge. I didn't read that note. The ring... The badge, insignia. The man who wore those was of middling height. Broad shoulders, dark hair, and a broken nose. Am I right? Correct. You knew him then? He broke his nose after an exchange of views behind the barracks. Raoul tried to headbutt his basic training instructor. That was me. Now tell me, what happened to my good friend Raoul? And first, please accept our sincere condolences. Thanks. Now tell me where... When, how, and who? Two days ago. It was at a small camp in some Manakan ruins. He was found almost dead by the caravan people. They tried to heal him and then... Some travelers in the caravan rushed in to kill your friend and the guards Master Galar had posted. And no idea who those guys were? No, Sarge. They looked like common mercs to me. Did Roald say anything to you? It was too late for him. Dire news. Listen, go and speak to the Senard. Tell him everything. The Sinard? The Sinard? The Sinard is the ruler of the Vale of Caparan. And where is the Sinard? You can find him at the town hall at this hour. Give him this note from me and tell him exactly what happened. Here, my signature on the letter from Gala. Take it to Master Warmhearth at the general store. And here's a note for the Sinard. Stay in the light. Is this Baron really a dwarf? 
Are there dwarf? I can't call a dwarf, my lord. Can I? Uh, did we actually get the notes? Let's that see sounds there. wrong. It so doesn't like they actually gave us the notes. That's fine. Charming little town. Can we speak to him again? Probably not. Alright, I guess we'll do it once around the town, see if there's anything to find. Don't think there's any loot in Care Kiflin. So let's find out any loot laying around here. There's no loot that, you know, isn't considered stealing. This person have a thing above their head. Sun on your face, travelers. My name is Atina Bladeburn, priestess of Aaron. What can I do for you? We need your services. We need your powers. It's just a merchant. What do you got? Nothing. Nothing good. All right. Extremely underwhelming. Nothing of note up here. About over here. Probably not. That was like the tavern. Uh, where is this other objective at? Oh, right there. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? Uh, we have a letter for you. Clear skies to you. Master Golden Tongue sent this letter. Of course, of course. Hmm. Yes. Master Golden Tongue's instructions are quite clear. Here's your money, and here's a receipt to sign. Would you be interested in sampling our wares? Yeah, let's see your wares. What do you sell? Hopefully something good, though it doesn't look like it. Well, plate armor. I guess that's all I want to sell. Let's see if this has been fixed yet. Nope, still can't read it. Oh, miss my, misclicked. That's fine. Alright. Let's go check out the tavern real fast. See if this guy... Can't talk to him, I don't think. It's worth a shot. I see if this guy has any dialogue for us. Mildred. Warm hearth. Or I guess. Girl. Lady. Welcome to the inn. Well, thank you. We should go. Stay in the light. Alright, so no, no dialogue. <laughs> Let's go talk to the... Scenard. I think we explored the whole town. Well, nope, not up here. Do a quick look see. We get a quest to find the local scavengers guild, right? Yeah, that's where I need to return to Care Kiflin for this quest because we found that uh, holy symbol that I'm currently wearing. Oh, his guide falling off. <laughs> Whenever I hear that, I think it's a perception check or something, but it's just the uh, the guidance falling off the character that I casted it on. 
Hello, Milan. Are you the local boss of the scavengers? Eh, you could say that. Not bossing much, I'm afraid. We used to have adventurers raiding around here, but now, just one. One? Yeah, she's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Timarian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. Alright, uh, just sell all of this. It's a, it's a decent payout. Alright, let's go talk to the uh, Cianard. Clear skies? Joris Nikonen says you have an interesting story to tell. Clear skies to you, my lord. Well, it all began when we came upon this caravan. Go on. Hmm. Military matters I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonen sent you to me. You see, he is a rarity in the Stone Fist Mercenary Company. The one old hand who was born here. We have known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stonefist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. And he sent you to me? That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? Orc invasion. An Orc invasion? Happened about 15 years ago. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard and opened a breach, got a foothold in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. The Stonefist Company. The Stonefist Mercenary Company? Our military force, since they helped us repel the orc invasion. Who's Stonefist? Gromnir Stonefist, founder of the Stonefist Mercenary Company. That doesn't answer my question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Kithaela. Copran was the seat of her family before the Cataclysm. And uh, Lady Kithaela is on a nostalgia trip? Far from it. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Old elven nobility, I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Kithaela. So tell me something about Copperan that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, there is an imperial mausoleum of Lanarak, home of the honored dead. Lanarak? What's Lanarak? A very particular kind of marble. Very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. Mausoleum? A place of remembrance? Yes, for the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient imperial mausoleum in a side valley, sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, you said you were sent by the Legacy Council? We see a lot of Council agents on their way to the Badlands, and they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Yes, and they are as nasty as legends made them. Can they truly possess others? Not possess, exactly. What they do is worse, if you believe the tales that the Paladins of Einar recovered from their archives. Do me a favor. Walk around our city, talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonen. Not a word about what you told me, though. Do you believe the Sorax are in Copperan? I'll say no more for the time being. Walk the streets, then see Nikonen. Meanwhile, stay in the light. Clear skies to you, Sinard. Neat. We have an investigation to pursue. Next this time. This town is really dirty. Okay. 
I'm gonna call the episode here. Next time we'll go around and talk to the citizens here in uh, Copperin and see if we can't find any Storax. And I need to remember to go back to the Oracle. I haven't forgotten. I'm gonna go back to the Oracle and open up that chest once we clean up some stuff here. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.